Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I hope you have your palm branch this morning, wherever you are in church or in your neighborhood, waving to honor the Lord Jesus Christ as he enters triumphantly into Jerusalem. I'll shift our reading from the Gospel of Luke to the Gospel of Matthew to capture this moment. Matthew chapter 21, verse 9. Then the multitudes went before, and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The word Hosanna means save now. It's a cry for salvation. It's people crying for deliverance, for people to be delivered from wrongs that have been done to them or from evil. It's also a proclamation of faith in the ability of God to deliver and to set people free. So as Jesus enters or approaches Jerusalem, now there is a multitude. That's a, that's a large number of people. And they started with a small group. It's now a multitude. And within the multitude, there are three kinds of people. First, there are those who have been with Jesus from Galilee. They started with him on his journey going to Jerusalem. So that's the first group. Those are his disciples and followers, and they believed in him, and they had faith in him. They were proclaiming him as the Messiah and declaring Hosanna. The second group of people were the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They had heard about Jesus off and on. Most of them were very suspicious of Jesus because anytime he comes to town, he disturbs the power systems in Jerusalem. So these are not too enthused about Jesus. That's the second group. And the third group are visitors who have come from other parts of uh, Judea and uh, other Jewish communities to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast. Most of them probably had not heard of Jesus Christ. So as they proceed, be mindful of these three groups and each one is acting differently. Because sometimes you hear people say the crowd that cried Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna also cried crucify him. No, that's not true. The crowd that cried Hosanna are those who were disciples of Jesus and they never stopped saying Hosanna. The crowd that said crucify him were the inhabitants of Jerusalem who were threatened by the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's not one group changing their views. It's uh, two different groups expressing two different opinions. So when people cried Hosanna to the Lord, they wanted Jesus to do something. And you can imagine most of them have heard that he worked miracles. So when they say save now, some people probably are in debt. They want Hosanna from debt. And some people probably are sick. They want Hosanna from sickness. And people are probably are under bondage in one way or the other. And they're crying Hosanna. Each one has their expectation. But on this particular trip, Jesus was not there to meet their expectation. He's there for something far bigger and something far more significant. He's there to fulfill the destiny of the human race. To become the sacrifice that will be made for the salvation of mankind. So there are certain times that we cry, Hosanna, Lord, do something for us, and he doesn't do it because the, there is a higher purpose, there is a greater purpose, and he's still going to go ahead and fulfill that greater purpose. There are times we call on him, Hosanna, and he heals us, or he saves us, or he delivers us, but there are other times that he says, I acknowledge your need for me, but there is something bigger I need to accomplish and he goes out to uh, accomplish it. So today, as we welcome Jesus into Jerusalem, we welcome him into our lives, into our hearts, into our homes, into our churches, into our families, and we say, Hosanna in the highest. He, the highest, is the only one who can save. He's the only deliverer. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. What an exciting day to remember Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, my help comes from you. I look to you, Lord Most High, for total deliverance. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name 
of the Lord. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. <music>